I want my bills paid from just living my life. And hopefully we'll get there soon. Manifest, manifest, manifest. Yes, 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 yes. Hey you guys, what's up? Welcome back to another lit video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today we are going to be doing a day in the life vlog. I am looking a little puffy, a little tired because I am running on three hours of sleep, y'all. I work third shift and today is Wednesday. I think it's the 27th. I'm running late for my nail appointment. It's 1056 and my appointment is at 11 a.m. So I'm rushing. Sorry, Rose, if you're watching this just a few minutes late I'm almost there probably like five minutes away so I'll be like literally three minutes late probably I just took my hair down from a wrap and I didn't get to like really style it and redo the ends a little bit and do my edges so we're gonna do that later in the video we're also going to do my eyebrows go to the post office a whole bunch of stuff so we're just gonna do it and hopefully y'all follow me all the way to the end make sure you hit that subscribe ring my bell give me a big thumbs up just a little update um my last video before this one was the story time at atl and y'all seem to live for the drama so i will be doing a part two i will be filming it with a special guest from the trip who wanted to tell their side of the story so guess who that could be down in the comments or just wait till tomorrow when i upload after this yes it's gonna be real messy so we're gonna eat a crab boil while we talking about it and they telling their side so that's gonna be real real lit i cannot wait to get these off my previous set was like a milky white and then I don't know why I put this top coat that I got from the Dollar Tree on top of it, but they look hideous and it's definitely time for a fill in. But I think I'm gonna get a full set because my real nails is like growing too long. And I'm so scared for her to remove this one because it's literally throbbing. It hurts so freaking bad. I think my real nail is like detached from my skin hopefully not hopefully i'm just tripping and she removes it and everything is fine but yeah i'm really scared it's really in pain so we gonna find out in a minute we're almost there we're on burner road now and that's where sunny nails is if you've been watching my previous videos if you haven't y'all need to catch up i gave y'all a lot of time to catch up on my old videos too uh, I think it's been like almost two weeks since I posted last. I miss y'all so much, for real. And if you are a new subscriber, welcome to the fam. Thank you so much for your support. I, I just need a few more watch hours and my channel will be monetized. And it's up from there. I'm going to give me a real camera. Uh, if you can't tell, I be filming on my iPhone. So, Yeah. <laughs> All right, y'all, I'll show you when we get to the nail salon. That's the Wendy's I used to work at. They just closed out of nowhere. But we've been a pool until sunny nails. Cut traffic and go through here. Y'all know I like to park in the back. I don't want to park on the front street. Sunny Nails is attached to this little mall right here, to the right. Okay, y'all, I'm so upset. I could not, y'all, I'm so upset. Look at this. This is the finger that was hurting. Can you see? It was like ripped in the middle and it's still throbbing and it hurts. It might be an infection. 
So they would not let me get a full set like I wanted. They said I gotta wait a week. And I was like, a week? Do you see this? This is not cute. So she's like, okay, come back in two days. And it's Memorial Day weekend. I love you, Rose. You are so sweet. So she just removed my nails for free. And I'll come back in two days instead of a week. So Saturday. And she scheduled me to come before um, before business hours. Because that's my girl. They open at 9. And she's taking me at 845. And she repainted my toes for free. Uh, D.I.P. That's what loyalty gets you. Coming to the same place for over 10 years. I appreciate it though. Um, so now, all of my off days, I am not getting any rest because I work from 6 p.m. to 4.30 a.m. Sunday through Wednesday. Today's Thursday. I was really looking forward to sleeping in, but I couldn't get a um, appointment for my nails later in the day, so I took the 11 o'clock and I couldn't get my nails done. Tomorrow, I gotta take my mama to an appointment at six o'clock in the morning, so that means I gotta wake up at like five o'clock to go pick her up. And then, sit at the appointment for two hours, which I'm probably not gonna do. She's just gonna be back there and I'm gonna go home and take a nap for two hours. Uh. And then Saturday, I got to wake up at like 8 o'clock to go to my 845 appointment for my fill-in. I'm so tired. Like, my eyes, I have to do something. I have to sleep during the day today or tomorrow. Like, no, I cannot because I have to finish filming this video for y'all and edit it. And then tomorrow, I'm filming in the afternoon with... Um, my special guest for the part two of the Atlanta girls trip and then I'm sure my mom's gonna want to hang out with me uh, Saturday because we have some family coming in from Ohio and she just told me like super last minute so I'll stop over and hang out with them like this is going to be a very busy weekend and I really am not looking forward to it because I love my sleep and I haven't been sleeping well so I'm a little upset but yes what are we gonna do next I'm pretty hungry I need to eat I need to I was gonna wash my car but my finger hurts so freaking bad y'all see that mmm once I figure out what I'm gonna do next, cause I just got so much to do, I'll <laughs> update y'all. Ooh, my earring. Okay y'all, so it is now 12.24 and I'm gonna go to Chick-fil-A and get me and my boyfriend some lunch because he's coming home for lunch. Oh my goodness, this freaking line is of course long as heck. I really hate when the freaking Chick-fil-A workers be outside taking the order. Like, they come up to your car like, don't be looking all in my car. But it does help the line go faster, so I can't complain about that. But, yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> Girl, look at this line. And Chick-fil-A is over here. We wrapped around the freaking building. Hello. Kristen. Kristen, how am I serving you today? A spicy chicken deluxe combo with the lemonade. Did you like American Kobe Jack or Pepper Jack cheese? Pepper Jack. Yeah. And you said lemonade, right? Yeah. And is that medium meal? Small. Small. Well, I can do the um, small drink. I oh, medium. Okay. Right. And would you like any um, sauces to go with that? Mayo. Okay. Anything else I get? Please? A 12 count nugget meal. Okay. Large with a lemonade. And sriracha and barbecue sauce. Mm -hmm. That's all. That's 1977. You can send Thank you. All right. If y'all they is walking around with this little cashier thing. So now 
I'm headed to the post office to check my P.O. box. FYI, you all can send me letters, cool things. If you want me to promote your business or anything that you would like me to promote for free, just send it to the address in the description box, which is 2282 Chattanooga, Tennessee, 37409. And I can review your products on an upload or read your letter or whatever you send to me. Um, it is $42 every three months to keep my P.O. box. So I would like it to get put to use, more use than what I use it for, which is like brands and stuff when they be sending me stuff. I want it to be like, to interact with you guys and get like fan mail and stuff like that. Cause I think I'm getting up there, which I think. Thanks to y'all for sharing and liking and everything that really does help my algorithm. But yeah, um, I have worked two different shifts at my current job and that's really the only way that I have stayed at this job for like a year because they are so flexible. They have a lot of different rules than a normal job. I'll get into that a little bit, I guess. Um, I've had a lot of customer service jobs in the past and just period, that made me realize that I am not meant to be a worker bee. I very much have a boss attitude. Um, I did on my own cooking uh, delivery business and I got a little overwhelmed because I was the only one, the only employee, the only deliverer, the only cook, the only inventory person, all of that. So. I had to cut it and I just started making videos and I realized like I just want to live my life and make that into a career because my life is pretty interesting I think I'm an interesting person um, I've always felt like a celebrity even as a child like everybody used to say you're gonna be something when you grow up like everybody tells their kids that but like random people would say that they saw something in me and things like that like everybody would say I would have a glow etc I don't know but yeah so I just really feel like I should not be working for a living like that's not for me I do not mix well with other employees and their mindset I don't look forward to like events at work I don't eat lunch in the lunchroom I've never ate lunch in the lunchroom at any of my jobs I always go to my car or go out to eat or whatever like I don't associate with co-workers. Like, I just do it just so I can get some money to pay my bills and get out, period. So, that's why I started YouTube. Um, but that's not what I was talking about. I was talking about my job and how many shifts I've been working. So, my first shift that I worked was the weekend shift, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. 12-hour shifts from 6 p.m. to 6 30 a.m. and I was dog tired and I was tired of looking down my timeline everybody living their best life on the weekend COVID was lifting and everything so I was like I need to get off of this schedule and that's why I'm on the schedule that I'm on now which is Sunday Monday Tuesday Wednesday still third shift though 6 p.m. to 4 30 a.m and that was the only like shift change that was available and after 30 days you can change your shifts and there's like so many different shifts so i'm probably gonna work all the shifts before quitting so i've applied for day shift since that has finally become available it is sunday monday tuesday wednesday from 7 a.m to 5 p.m. and that's like the perfect shift i wanted monday tuesday wednesday thursday i want my bills paid from just living my life and hopefully we'll get there soon manifest 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 why do i look so orange whoa so yeah i'll know if i get the new day shift schedule hopefully on june 1st if not before then and I have a new uh, posting schedule. I'm sorry, I am so tired, I'm like delusional. And at work, I'm on my feet all day. I just like it 
even though I'm on my feet all day, I like it because um, A, I don't have to deal with customers, and B, I don't have to deal with managers getting on my nerves. The only time I see a manager is if I start fucking up. <laughs> seen my managers a couple of times and I have yeah, gotten a write-up but the write-up falls off after 30 days and you can just keep getting write-ups so um I try not to do that because I do like to change shifts I am so tired like and I feel like not a bad bitch with these freaking nails I'm gonna just see how when we get to the post office because I'm just rambling I don't know what I'm talking about I really want to take a nap when I get home but I have to edit this video I hope it doesn't come out like shit I hope y'all don't let it flop like for real look like an ig model walk with a waddle body shaped like a coke bottle put stay on full throttle love it when i swallow all right you guys so i had to come back in the car and get my tracking number because this has been sitting in my p.o box for like a week but this is today's sponsor they gave me some goody goodies. Full Send Canna Puffs. They sent me a hybrid 1,000 milligrams Delta 8 distilled canna oil pen. Ah, so excited to try this. I need a mood booster. It's lab tested and it's for 21 and up. So if you're not 21, don't even try to buy this. You gotta wait, baby. And it is the Pink Runts Vape. Get into it. So they sent me this Pink Runts Vape. Please do not look at my hideous nails. I love the packaging. It's really cute. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, it's pink. Cute. I guess it's because it's Pink Runts. So the Pink Runts comes in pink packaging. Really cute. This is a disposable hybrid delta 8 pen it has the little oil right here so you can see how much you have left you smoke it through here and another little window for the oil and it has a usb port so you can charge it oh my gosh yes 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 oh this tastes amazing and it's so smooth it's the smoothest card that i've tried on this channel you see i'm not coughing and i just took that huge hit the smoke is thick it tastes like It doesn't taste fruity, it doesn't have really any flavor besides like if you were smoking a THC pen. So I do like that. This is super smooth and light. That oil is super thick, like the bubbles are not moving. I already feel lifted, like, ooh, I definitely needed this. Thank you so much, Fulson. <laughs> And then they sent me four packs of gummies. I have blue raz, what is this? Strawberry, green apple, and watermelon. So we are going to taste the strawberry. It comes with the little information on the back. Let's see, 11 calories, two servings per container. A serving size is one gummy so there's two gummies in here and it's 500 milligram 500 milligrams per pack it's vegan there's sugar corn syrup filtered water pectin hemp extract artificial flavoring sodium bicarbonate and artificial coloring I really like this little nutritional chart or whatever you would call it a fact chart yeah it says nutritional facts um, because any other gummy or edible that I've tried, it does not have that on the back. So I think that's really cool. And my fingers are so tender. So bear with me trying to open this. 
Mm, smells good like any other gummies would. They're super thick. Oh, came with three. Came with three gummies. Mmm. They're not thick at all. Like, as soon as I bit into it, it like sliced in half. It does taste like strawberry. And it does not have like an aftertaste. It's not sour. It's the perfect sweetness. You could eat like a whole bag of these and not even know <laughs> that you are getting high. Mmm. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I am in such a better mood already. I know that gummy didn't hit me instantly, so I'll show you guys um, later in the vlog, about in an hour. It's 1.57 now. Um, I'll let you know how I'm feeling, but that pen got me there. I'm going to save these for another time because um, it says serving size is one gummy, and it comes with three in each pack. And I just took three. So, I'm going to be feeling good. I think I already am. Like, do y'all see my eyes? They're low. Plus baggy. Like, they already were. But they're low. I'm happy now. I got a little energy. Even though I know it's, like, false energy. Because I literally slept three hours. But, um... On to the next destination. Okay, y'all. So, now we finna go to the tattoo shop. No, I'm not getting a tattoo today. I will be getting one soon, so stay tuned. But um, I have a tragus piercing and my jewelry fell out a couple of days ago and my nails were too long to put it in and I lost the back of it. So I'm gonna go get a new one. It was time for a new one anyways. I'm probably going to get my forward helix jewelry changed also. Because they didn't have any real jewelry at the tattoo shop that I be going to. Do y'all see dude in the background? He is walking happy as hell. All by his lonely. Like walking with a big old smile. That's my type of vibes. And that's how I'm feeling. Like that was some good quality hybrid. Delta 8 hybrid is a mixture of sativa and indica. Um, sativa is a upper to me, and indica is a downer, um, more like slump, just relaxed indica. I mean, sativa, sativa <laughs> is a upper, makes you more happy, a little energetic, creative, etc. That's how I'm feeling. We lit. I had 500 milligrams of those gummies. Like, do y'all see my eyes? I'm trying to open them wide, like girl <laughs> i'm feeling good it didn't have no directions on it saying don't operate machinery so um oh no it does say it may cause drowsiness do not drive a motor vehicle or operate machinery but <laughs> i'm not new to this i am true to this so if you know yourself and your tolerance follow the directions period i look so gross so there was not a piercer at the tattoo shop and I don't know how to put that tragus piercing in. I think you just spin it on, I don't know. I want somebody to do it for me. So I'm sorry you guys, that'll have to be in another vlog. I'm on High Street, <laughs> literally. High Street 300. But uh, I'm gonna just put in like a regular the earring until tomorrow because there'll be a piercer tomorrow probably the one that's always there now i'm about to wax my whole face and i'm gonna show you guys that process once i get back to the house okay y'all so i'm back home and since i was in a rush this morning i didn't get to do my edges so that's how i just look not put together one of the reasons what the heck kind of part is this though? Like, oh, I need help. Girl, this is a mess. Okay, y'all, so now I'm about to wax my eyebrows.
hey you guys what's up welcome back to another lit video thank you so much for tuning in if y'all hear some noise in the background my neighbors have been having a party since 10 o'clock this morning and it's like almost nine o'clock at night so i really can't help the background noise so ignore that before we get into it this video is sponsored by chris lashes i have on a pair from them right now they are super voluminous super light nice and fluffy i love how there's not any stray hair sticking out come seven a pair of each kind that you order so in case you lose a pair or you get a lot of glue on a pair etc you got a lot of the same pair that you ordered that is a five deal and it's on amazon so that's real quick shipping so the link is going to be down in the description along with their Instagram and everything else. And without any further ado, we're gonna get into the video. Okay y'all, so this is the tragic before. It's giving Siggy, trying to be Coil Ray. <laughs> they were cute like the first day, but it did what it's supposed to do. I feel like I got a little hair growth. I wore these braids for like a week. I moisturize my scalp daily with Baby Don't Be Bald Therapeutic Scalp Oil, Maximum Strength. And this is supposed to help your hair grow and help nourish dry, itchy, sensitive scalps. I got that from my local beauty supply store called Golden Mart for $6.99. A little story, I just got my hair dye that I'm gonna dye my hair with from this black owned new beauty supply store that I should have went to first I'm so upset because they have such a huge variety I almost spent like a hundred dollars in there going crazy just buying everything I can't wait to go again so I can take you guys with me so you can see the huge selection and see what I buy next and I kept these plaits in so that I can really color the back of my hair a lot easier because if you've watched my previous hair dyeing videos it's extremely sloppy and I don't really get to get the back of my roots that good so hopefully this technique helps so without any further ado we're gonna just get this tutorial started and disclaimer i am not a professional hair dyer or anything like that this is just what i do i usually start off with the front of my hair because i used to like it brighter red in the front but once the color grows out it turns into like a blonde and just an ugly color and I don't like it and it doesn't look healthy so I'm gonna do magenta all over starting from the back working to the front my roots have grown out about an inch and a half to two inches since the last time I dyed them and I'm gonna watch Selena so enjoy the <laughs> 